just picked up another Prius. This is our third, <laughs> but it is a uh, 2006, 195,000 miles, good tires, uh, drives really nice, and uh, I think it's got a battery problem, which I'm kind of looking forward to fixing. So I'm actually plugging the car into my computer right now to do a little bit of testing. I've got the TechStream software here somewhere. All right, there we go. So it's got this red triangle of death, check engine light, uh, I mean, the tire sensor, and then this one on my other Prius, that one had to do with the brake, uh, which I'm hoping I don't have to mess with the brake, but anyways, we'll see what the computer says here. You can maybe hear back there, that fan sounds like a jet engine. Connecting. <clears throat> Over here, it's showing it charging the battery, but I think it, it knows something's not right with the battery. Okay, here we go. So, we got this pulled up. ECU status unknown, so we're gonna just go and click on the battery over here. And it's gonna do what it can to pull any information off the battery. Which I don't think is gonna be good. There we go, okay. <laughs> yeah, so just straight up PA, P0880 replace hybrid battery pack and battery block 12 becomes weak. Let's see, we wanna look at live stuff. Um, what we wanna do is look at, here we go. Uh, the Delta state of charge. Yeah, so I think this should be close to zero at 49%, that's pretty bad. The computer's basically said like, the battery has 50% capacity down from 100, you know, or. I think up from zero. I'm 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 kind of hoping that I get to pull this battery pack apart, um, but you know it wouldn't be a, a bummer either if I didn't. Oh, let's go ahead and check out the brake system while we're in here. So let's go to system select. Okay, engine is idling. <clears throat> um, the brake actuator is what I'm hoping is not the problem high voltage so it's just okay 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 so i think we're fine it's basically just saying there's an issue with the high voltage system which i think is expected uh, this doesn't even really matter the tire pressure sensor light is on so let's go ahead and look at that um just because those are kind of annoying to replace if you have to replace them because you have to pull the tire off cannot retrieve data from transmitter id2 main yeah, so all of them are doing good, except for this guy right here isn't showing up. Uh, so that's good. Um, but yeah, probably going to have to get those replaced, unfortunately, which is... I mean, it doesn't cost that much, so it's not that big a deal. Um, but my goal is to get all the lights off on the dash. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we can do. Alright, so it's got that code for... The battery, so I think we're gonna go back here and see. All right, this guy comes out. Grab my favorite tool. I'm gonna start by removing these. It's uh, never done this before. Problem. There we go. All right, that's up. And then I think we gotta take these off here. Okay. There we go. That's coming off there. All right, so I got that off. These clips are actually pretty amazing. Um, so you start with them out like this, insert them and then push down to lock it, but then to get it off, you actually just continue pushing, and it pushes in like that and releases, so pretty cool. Um, so this fan, 
Doesn't look all that dirty, to be honest. Yeah, it looks fine. Hmm. Alright, just want to hear the fan. There it goes. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I think that kind of confirms nothing actually wrong with the fan. It actually starts out perfectly quiet, but then I think once it starts detecting what is that ever going on with the battery, uh, that's when it kicks into overdrive, which apparently it's only supposed to kick into that mode uh, like at highway speeds, so when you wouldn't hear it, it will increase with vehicle speed. All right, so I gathered the freeze frame data onto my laptop just so I have it. And now I'm working on removing the battery or at least opening up the cover because I think that's kind of the next step here. All right, I just tilted these seats forward up out of the way. Now I think we got good access to this. So you can see that someone has uh, numbered all these cells or uh, modules. I don't know what these are called, but uh, I mean, I was guessing, I mean, I kind of knew that someone had been in here because of all the uh, bolts and evidence of tampering or whatever, but very clear at this point that we've got um, someone doing something with the battery. It looks like these are the replace these cells have been replaced potentially, the ones with the white paint. Well, I was just going to go ahead and replace the battery, but I'm glad I followed the troubleshooting instructions in the Toyota service manual cuz I found this burnt connector here. Um, it was saying to inspect the connections here. And, uh, well, upon inspection, that's what I found. So, I'm gonna continue to take this out and see what this uh, battery ECU is looking like. <laughs> Alright, so, opened this up. And uh, a little hard to see just because it's so blackened in there, but I can pretty much guarantee this did not have a good connection. You can see how nasty that is. That bottom left pin is very corroded. So this will be interesting to see, um, you know, it's to research and figure out why this might have happened because that's going to be the real question to answer here. Okay, so the next step in the Toyota manual is to measure the resistance between the pins in this connector and the metal connections on this end. So we're going to see what this comes out as. Um, I mean, something weird's going on here, but I'm not quite sure what, so we'll figure it out. All right, I just finished testing all of these, all the, the connections between all these guys and the pins on here. They all tested good, including this uh, end one here. I think, it, you know, it's got, man, a lot of corrosion on it. Um, and it's pretty burnt, but even that one actually tested good. Okay, so today we are going to test the individual cells and just do an initial test and see how we're doing on voltage. So first step is removing all these 
bus bars. Spreadsheet. Let's start by measuring voltage of cell one. And we get eight exactly. Number two. Eight exactly. Three. Four. All right, here's our numbers. All of the cells are between 7.9 and 8.1, except for this one right here. It's down at 6.74, so that's the bad cell in block 12. I definitely know we have to replace at least this one cell um, but without power cycling all of these, it's hard to know which other ones would need to be replaced. And then I also need to figure out what the deal is with this plug here. Maybe our next step should be to open this guy up and see what we've got in here. Hopefully the new uh, battery I'm getting will come with the ECU. We'll see. That's nice. There are no melted uh, pins here. Looks like maybe it just got really hot. But I can't see any damage as of yet, which is really encouraging. You can see like oxidation on that pin from where it got really hot, but I don't think uh, it's <clears throat> burnt anything out yet, which is awesome. So we'll just need to thoroughly clean that out, make sure that we don't have any continuity between those pins down there that have all that carbon build up now from the heat. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, we'll see what we can do here. So I'm trying to figure out right now if I should purchase this battery that I found on Facebook Marketplace. Guy is asking 200 bucks for a battery with three quarters of the cells that apparently are good. Okay, so I found this charger on eBay a few days ago. Uh, works great, just has a broken button. So I purchased it, I offered 110, got it for 110, and it has arrived. It's over here. I ended up just needing to replace um, a little copper uh, spring button thing underneath this button, and now I think everything should work just fine. Um, and now it's time to pull this battery out of the Prius, I think. 